There's still two gridiron games left for the Cougars, but since this is the last Coug tube of the season, we're taking a look at some of the most memorable moments up to this point. Here's Coug tube reporter Sean Gordon's top 10 of 2011. Starting things off at number 10 is the first touchdown of Independence for the Cougars, a 19-yard strike from Jake Heaps to Ross Oppo. Number 9 gets defensive, with Daniel Sorensen's 30-yard pick 6 late in a blowout win against Idaho State. We'll see Sorensen a bit later, too. At 8 is a pinpoint throw from Heaps to a diving Oppo over the middle against Texas. Sorensen's back at number 7, playing a little pinball before picking off an errant Texas throw. This two-point conversion by Riley Nelson late in the TCU game is impressive, but number 6 is the high five he gave the ref afterward. Hey, his hand was clearly up. Number 5 is a first in five years. J.D. Fozlev took this punt to the house against the Horn Frogs, the first punt return TD since McKay Jacobson in 2006. Think five years is a long time? Cody Hoffman finds the seam for a 93-yard TD on this kickoff, making that the first kickoff touchdown in 13 years for the Cougars. He doesn't just return kicks, though, he catches the ball, too. This one starts the top three off in style. This impressive grab by Hoffman against Oregon State is a finalist for Geico's Play of the Year. What beats a Play of the Year finalist? How about a game winner? As Kyle Van Noy sacks Ole Miss quarterback Zach Stout, then takes the fumble in for a TD, giving BYU their first win of the season. But the immaculate deflection takes the top spot of the year. A mixture of luck and timing by Marcus Matthews not only saved the game for the Cougars, but possibly the season as well. And who knows, maybe we'll have a few plays in Hawaii or in the bowl game that will end up on that list too.